Hey guys, it's Monica, and I wanted to share with you guys a bit about my exchange experience, um, which I went on the summer after I joined ISEC, so December 2012. Um, I went to Malaysia, and it was on a project to do with uh, youth education, um, which is SDG number four, um, and I was working with uh, disadvantaged children in Malaysia. Um, helping them with English education and maths education and also some basic just uh, general life education um, so that they can know more about the world and you know get to meet people from outside of Malaysia um, and yeah it was a really great experience it was for six weeks I really enjoyed Malaysia I got to understand a lot of more about the culture of a country that I literally had no idea about um, and even though I had Malaysian friends in Australia and things like that like it's a completely different experience to go to their home country and live the kind of, you know, and understand why they are the kind of people that they are and the kind of experiences that have led them to that point. So anyway, um, I wanted to share one kind of story that really was the most powerful uh, point of my uh, project, which was um, throughout the middle of the project, you know, you know, I was doing a lot of activities and running projects with the with the children and things like that. But in the middle, I had a chat with the, I guess he was the CEO of the not for profit that was there. Um, you know, he owned all the orphanages and things like that. He was the one that started that, and we had a conversation about, you know, how he even started this whole thing. And um, basically, he came from a really like. Uh, disadvantaged background. Um, he was involved in a lot of really uh, bad things. Uh, he made a lot of trouble in society and he was with friends that were a bad influence on him and all these sorts of things in his youth. And um, one moment made him realize that, you know, there's more that he could do and he had a responsibility to do something with his life and then he found a cause and it was about you know creating these orphanages and houses for these um, young neglected children as well as for neglected elderly people as well and he started that and ever since that he's been doing that um, and the whole reason why he even started it is because see in Malaysia there is a a hierarchy of social classes and the kind of benefits that you get so the people who are Malay, so they're indigenous to Malaysia, they get the highest level of privileges. Um, you know, there's a lot of like, you know, talk about corruption and things about things like that in the country. But first class is Malays, second class is Chinese Malays, and third class at the bottom, which is where he and all the children are from, are Indian Malays. So the thing is, the Chinese Malays while they are second uh, in terms of privilege, they are able to make their own businesses and have money to support them. But Indian Malays are a completely different issue. Um, there's a lot of discrimination against them. And the reason why, for example, I went there is because they turned to ISEC to ask, you know, how can you guys help us? Because governments and other organizations are not going to support us because we're Indian Malays. And that was a really big turning point where I realized that I was not just going there for myself, but I was also going there to contribute to a larger problem about the world and learn more about the world and, you know, take what I learned and go back to Australia with something really meaningful. So, you know, it really opened my eyes to feel that, you know, there are issues in the world that I need to be more aware of and I have a responsibility and I know I can make a difference towards these sorts of issues. And without going to Malaysia and without really understanding an issue of another country, I probably would have never really thought about the issues in my own country either or any other issues around the world apart from like a very surface level kind of thing that, you know, you hear things on the news and things like that. So anyway, um, I came back as, I think, a better world citizen. Um, I, I really believe that, you know, the more that I learn, the more I learn how little that I really know about the world. And, you know, I came back with the responsibility to do more about the world. Um, I I have the privilege of being raised in Australia, a wonderful country where I get to go to university for free, that, you know, I have access to a lot of great resources and friends and I can speak English very well and all these sorts of things. And I don't ever realize how much that privilege is to, you know, the fact that I have these things that I should do something more than whatever I'm doing in life at that time. Um, you know, I was 19 years old in second year of uni and realizing at that point in time that 
it was time to find ways to find more purpose in my life, you know. Um, and to be honest, that whole thought process got me here. Um, I'm now the president of ISEC in Australia, which is a complete honor to be here. Um, you know, I get to empower young people just like you to create opportunities for young people all over the world to be more globally minded and to take responsible actions for the world. Um, I have ever since that point committed that committed to a made a commitment that every stage of my life would be towards making the world a better place and it wouldn't just be for I don't know other uh, you know luxury things or just purely for things just for myself but I only have this much of my life and what am I going to use that for and it's for me it's about making the world a better place and that has guided me ever since so um, I don't know really where I would be if I didn't make that chance to say, you know, yeah, I do want to go and see the world and, you know, not just travel, but just work on a project that actually means something and allows me to tackle an issue in depth. In depth. Um, and I've been grateful ever since. And, you know, I've been an Isaac ever since. And I've just completely loved the experience of enabling more and more of these experiences, not only for Australians, but for so many young people around the world to also come to Australia and look at the issues that we also have um, and open up their minds about what they think about Australia and what they think about their own countries and, you know, go back and become better people. Because at the end of the day, this is how, you know, we achieve peace and fulfillment of humankind's potential by sending young people like you and me all around the world to see the world, to get into grips with issues in all, to in, in, all, in all aspects of the world and become better global citizens and come back and do something for your own country and for the world. So um, I wish you all the best of luck. Have fun at SACON. See you guys.